The conditions may not be as difficult as they were yesterday, but the seacoast is still dealing with the effects of flooding from the high tides. Public safety officials point out the trouble spots in Hampton. Governor Chris Sununu says state emergency workers remain on standby, ready since yesterday to respond when needed. Constantly in communication, making sure that whether it's cones, trucks, sandbags, um, materials from the National Guard, whatever it takes, uh, we're going to be here for the town. Flooding is an issue all along the coast. In Seabrook Friday, Brown's Lobster Pound was underwater. Today, grass and debris pulled up from the marsh needed to be cleared away. In Hampton, the high tide overnight ripped sand and debris from the beach, sending it across Ocean Boulevard. Despite warnings, people still traveled to the seawall to see the giant waves crash over. The water does splash over and those stones come flying up on the street. Those, if you're over on that side, you could become a victim. See all those rocks? They weren't there yesterday. <laughs> Hampton resident Marilyn McIntosh weathered the storm at home. The banging last night from the wind and the, you don't really know what was floating by on the street. She spent the day cleaning trash off the beach. People had days to prepare or evacuate if needed. Luckily, there were no reports of any major damage. A lot of the folks have seasonal homes here, so I would suspect over the next two days, a lot of people are going to come up, inspect their properties and find what damage they have. The police chief here in Hampton says high tides are always a safety concern for them, even when there isn't a powerful storm behind them. Reporting in Hampton, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.